I'm literally the only one in the theater right now. Uh, it did look like they sold a couple other tickets online. But uh, if they did, I'm not seeing them. Hey everyone, it is Sir Ant coming at you today from the F-Town Mall. I, of course, just took my little blue beauty there for a little ride. I'm going to a movie today. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon. It's 1 o'clock uh, matinee. As of uh, the time I left my house, there were three tickets sold for the entire IMAX uh, screening today. Um, it is the middle of the afternoon, granted. And it is a sci-fi movie, which is not a, a huge um, genre here in China. They are coming into their own with sci-fi titles. However, it's still not really that popular. So I figure I better get over to see Dune in IMAX while I can, uh, because it probably won't last long in the theaters. Now, I have made a video about F-Town before, which was how I discovered this interesting little um, IMAX theater. It's not a place you would ever expect because it's most of the IMAX cinemas in Canada are in either the big shopping centers or located at the big uh, outdoor kind of mall areas, right? At the corners of the city or the entrances to the city. But here there's literally IMAX theaters and cinemas everywhere you go. So where I found this one is down here. This is called F-Town. And F-Town has a bunch of shops and restaurants, kitty activities. It's, it's really quite an amazing place. And it's an outdoor mall. Um, you don't need to go inside to uh, find everything, which is kind of neat. Now, I do have a half hour before the movie starts. So I'm really tempted. The last time I came here, one of my favorite uh, Western restaurants in China was closed. And that's called Spicy Hot Dog. And I think I also mentioned that in my last video. <laughs> it is good. It's really good. Um, they have, of course, some very unique flavors and uh, styles of hot dogs. But they also have some American favorites, too. So I'm going to wander over to Spicy Hot Dog and see if I can't find a hot dog. Like I said, I've got half an hour before the movie starts. So there's lots of time. I could go sit in the theater for a half hour uh, doing nothing, or um, I could come over here and grab a hot dog. So let's see here. Does uh, look like they're open, so here we go. We've got the spicy hot dog. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and grab me a hot dog. Let me show you what I'm seeing. So here we go, we've got spicy hot dog. Got a bunch of very interesting looking concoctions there with jalapenos, with bacon, with mustard and ketchup and cheese. Oh yum. They do have an outdoor seating area, but it's not very populated at the moment, though I might sit out here and eat the hot dog. Just because of course they've got the barcode. So I can just scan this barcode and place my order. But I think I'll go in and order anyway. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm sitting down outside. I've got the Mexican hot dog coming. Um, yeah, I, I went inside and talked to guys really nice. I, I don't have my selfie stick with me today. And uh, yeah, uh, he seemed pretty shy. So I didn't want to film him while I was talking with him inside. But um yeah, so I'm getting a Mexican hot dog that's got cheese and uh, red peppers and jalapeno peppers. And it looks like there's some um, possibly guacamole or something like that on it. And I've got a little uh, bun coming with it and a lemon tea. So that should fill me up amply for the movie. It is a three hour, almost three hour movie. So ah, a little bit uh, a little bit sweaty from the ride over, but not bad. It's only 22 degrees today in uh, Shenzhen, so really nice day for a bike ride. Uh, the bike ride was fantastic. It would have taken me 10 minutes to walk over to the subway station. And then by the time the subway came and I hopped on the subway, went one stop, got off the subway, went through the security, etc., etc. It probably would have taken me 
20 to 25 minutes to get here. However, hopping on one of the little blue beauties right outside my uh, my apartment, um, it took me 10 minutes. So incredibly convenient. Like I said, the most convenient thing about those little suckers is uh, you don't need to worry about locking them up. You don't need to worry about, um, you know, leaving them in the proper place and then going back to get them. You just, well, I mean, you should leave the uh, rental bikes uh, the public bikes in, in the correct places anyway, but, uh, you just hop on any bike, ride to where you want to go, hop off and on your way home, hop on any other bike. It's, it's just that easy. As far as security goes though, for just regular bicycles, really all you need is any old bike lock. Anyone will do. It doesn't have to be a kryptonite lock. It doesn't have to be super expensive or super powerful. Any little chain wrapped around any tire will do. I'll, I'll give you a look when I go back to uh, pick up my um, public bike on the way home. But literally, that's the way it works here in China. There is so little of that kind of theft these days. I'm not kidding you. I don't have to worry about my bike getting stolen. If I leave it outside the theater with a chain wrapped around the tire and nothing else, that's it. That's all I need to do. I can be very, very, very assured it will be there the next day, even if it were a thousand, two thousand dollar bike. I, there would be no worry whatsoever. The little lock itself could be broken off or cut off so easily, but it, that's not why people wouldn't do it. People wouldn't do it simply because um, there are cameras everywhere in China, so it's it's quite risky for thieves to do that, and it's just not that kind of culture anymore. Um, there was a time when bike theft and things like that were quite rampant, but I'd say now you're at uh, less risk of... Uh, getting your bicycle stolen, then you are falling for some online scam in any country. Um, honest to God, I, I swear I could leave a $2,000 bike outside here without a lock on it overnight, and it would still be there in the morning. Um, even even back home at the apartment building, everybody, they, they just drop their bikes off at the base of the building in the uh, bicycle parking area. It's behind the, behind the security gate, mind you, but you don't even need to lock your bike then. Um, when I was talking to the missus about buying a bike, she said, well, where are you gonna put it? It's like, well, there's bicycle parking downstairs all over the place. If I buy a $200 bike, nobody's gonna steal it. And I don't need to bring it up to the apartment. I don't have to lock it anywhere. I don't have to do anything special. And even coming here to the mall, um, like I said, just I could just leave it on the street in the standard um, motorcycle, public bicycle, and just regular bicycle parking areas. There's no attendance. There's there's no direct cameras looking at them or anything. Throw a little lock around the uh, back tire. It'll be there when I get back. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to stop filming now, and I'll show you my hot dog when it gets here. Wow, within five minutes, the food has arrived. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, here we go. We've got a lemon tea here, and it is quite large, but no fear if i do not finish this before it's time to go to the movie no problem at all i can bring it into the movie with me they won't say boo about it i've actually brought in takeout bags of mcdonald's into movie theaters here with no problem at all they're interested in you paying for the movie if you buy their snacks as well that's great but they don't search people like they do in canada and they don't stop you from coming in so i may bring this as my drink for the movie and I've got this hot dog here that does have guacamole, it's got lettuce, it's got uh, red peppers or tomatoes on it, and it's got jalapenos, and it's covered with salsa. And then on top of that, I've got a hash brown here. Now this entire meal cost me $6. $6 for the combo, not bad, but I'm going to get eating it because uh, the movie will be starting eventually. Cheers. All right, finished with time to spare. I've got about 15 minutes before my movie starts, but I'm only about a two minute walk away. Basically all I've got to do is walk into the theater, punch in my number from a text message, it'll print me a ticket and I go watch my movie. Let me, let me show you what I'm seeing. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's restaurants, there's glass shops, Manning's, supermarket, 7-Eleven, bakeries, all manner of really cool, interesting looking restaurants. This place looks really neat. I bet you the, the decor in here is off the hook. Cha-ji. And down the road there, I don't know if you can see it, 
There's a sign that says IMAX. More restaurants. Little department store, the Xiaomi store. Cell phones, appliances, things like that. Bubble tea shops. Quite surprising how many people there are here in the middle of the afternoon on a Thursday. But hey, whatever works. There is a second floor here with more shops. I haven't been up there yet, but probably pretty cool. And yeah, so in my last video, you saw I was riding my bike through here and it was a Saturday. I believe it was a Saturday. And there were no people because it was the middle of spring festival. Whereas now, even though it's the middle of a school work day, there are people everywhere. How nifty is this? Got the little Joheya roast duck and snacky shop here. Another little noodle shop here. Bet you this is good. And then, yeah, right down here, a little bit further down the road, got the IMAX theater. Oh, wow, look at the, the design they've got here. This is a huge three dimensional uh, banner for the restaurant. Anyway, the IMAX is right here, so I've got to pull out my other phone to get my ticket and everything going on. But uh, we'll see on the inside. If it's not very crowded, I'll show you what the, th the theater itself looks like. All right. I'll keep going here for a minute. I've got the little claw machines. I can smell the popcorn. I wonder if they have the special popcorn from the, uh, from the Dune thing, but uh, who knows? All right. I'm going to stop recording now and I'm going to uh, get my ticket. Whew. All right, everybody. I'm literally the only one in the theater right now. Uh, it did look like they sold a couple other tickets online, but uh, if they did, I'm not seeing them. Let me give you an overview of the theater here. So we've got the giant IMAX screen there and it is huge. It's my first time ever coming to an IMAX video. Now, if I turn around here, you'll see that there's literally nobody in the theater. This is so awesome. And like I said, I saw two tickets sold, but only two. Now, these seats, I've got my drink. They are recliners. They're very soft and cushy. Um, yeah, very, very cool. I'm going to enjoy this very much. Anyway, I'm not going to record during the movie, so and people are starting to show up, so I'll talk to you later. Hey, everybody. All right, I'm done at F-Town, as you can see behind me here. Really cool little uh, shopping center, 10 minutes away from home. It's an outdoor one, which is kind of interesting. Finished the movie, enjoyed it, and now I'm going to make my way back home. And as you can see, there's this big row of motorcycles and bicycles behind me and I'll just show you what kind of security we've got going on there's not a lot of bicycles over there at the moment um, a lot of people now are riding the electric uh, scooters instead of bicycles but let me flip the camera and show you what I got going on as you can see there are just a ton of motorcycles over here little scooters big scooters delivery scooters and in the past these kind of little motorcycles would all be locked up but uh, it's not really necessary you'll see that even the helmets are just left on clips. They're not locked at all. They're just left on the motorcycles. There's no risk. Nobody's worried at all about them getting stolen. And even here with this little bicycle that somebody rides to work every day, this is all of the security they need. They put a little lock on the back tire, um, which somebody could easily pick this up and just walk away with it. But like I said, it's just not even a concern. The helmets, people leave stuff in, in their baskets. Um, yeah, it's nowhere near as risky leaving your stuff out in China as it is back home in Canada, right? So we've got across the street, the, another old style neighborhood with the walk-up uh, buildings that are eight stories or less. And then over on the other side, we've got the big business tower under construction, the shopping center, the outdoor shopping center with Starbucks and kids rides, and 
a perfectly great IMAX theater. Um, I really enjoyed that uh, movie. There were about seven people all told in the entire theater. So it was quiet, it was comfortable. Um, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, this is the exact same little bike that I rode here. It's still here, so the seat is all adjusted for me. It's all ready to go. I'm gonna head home before the rush hour starts. See you in the next video.